When I was a kid, uh, my parents uh, filmed me as Godzilla and I would uh, sort of create these little plays and they would record it and send tapes to all my uh, family members. <laughs> It was, it was from their feedback that I really knew that I wanted to act. You know, I really liked to perform and I, I got a lot out of it. You know, I would show them uh, what I could do and, and they enjoyed it. And I think that's where I got my, uh, at least the beginning of my motivation. My house used to be right there. I moved a couple years ago down the street, but that's where I used to live. And Sean lives right there at the end on the left. And then Peter behind that stop sign right across. And I guess this was, this was our life. This is all we knew. You know, we had our backyards, we had our houses, and we had each other. Pants Productions was a group that my friends and I uh, made. Uh, we would make videos, a couple videos like every day. And this was during the infancy of YouTube. This is when a group of random kids doing stupid stuff, not like, you know, I don't know, like, we would just like hit each other and fall on the ground and take off each other's shoes because it, that made us laugh and it made thousands of, and thousands of people laugh. And that's kind of weird, but back then, that was normal. You know, back then, YouTube wasn't as professional back in like 2007. And, you know, we can see nowadays how people put so much time and effort into what they made, but we didn't. But it was still awesome. We made it for, for us. We made, you know, like over a hundred videos, and I'm not embarrassed. Well... A little embarrassed? A little embarrassed, yes. Hi, I'm Earl Sinterman. Bo Diggly and I'm Sir Patrick. Occasion back. I'm the strongest man there is. <laughs> Apparently not. One of our most popular videos, um, Earl is Ticklish, uh, took place right there in front of Sean's garage. Uh, Peter and Sean, they, uh, they tickled me because I said I was the strongest dude ever, but I was not. I had long hair and I had skinny little girl legs. And I fell and my leg hit a rock and it hurt a lot, but that was really fun and I will never forget that, uh, that stupid video we, we made and people loved it. How many views does that have? How many views does it have? 26,000. 26,000 people like that. I don't know what that says about the world, but I know what it says about us. I want to be an actor because... Ah, oh, geez, this is gonna get kind of sad, but when I was young, I had trouble with identity. And so I would put my, I would sort of become a chameleon and wear different masks and act differently with people. And I enjoyed that. But nowadays, I know who I am, but I still enjoy being able to sort of manipulate my voice or my mannerisms to, to mimic things. You know, I like to do impressions, they're not great, but it's, it's a lot of fun. And I like to be able to, to be emotional and to be vulnerable the way that actors really like to, really, well, the good ones really like to do. And I want to be able to, you know, be on the big screen, if you will, the silver screen, and to be able to perform for people. And I might not be great, but it's, uns I don't know, like, indescribable not glory, that's not the right word. Indescribable happiness, I guess, from, from something like that. You know, it's, it's the only thing that I'm good at. Okay, so this is basically uh, AMF headquarters. We have, a lot of our movies have uh, taken place right up against this wall. And um, yeah, we we've manipulated this area f to fit any of our, our needs. Um, yeah, and this couch, actually. This is where, I guess, uh, the, it's a little messy, but this is where uh, the ideas sort of exist. This is where, uh, you know, the, the basis of every movie is, uh, you know, originates. Um, all around this, this couch, yeah. And this is uh, our life, I guess. Our HQ, if you will. It took me a long time to find out what I really wanted to do. But it was through that, that, that long period of, of confusion that I really found who I was. And in doing so, I found out what I wanted to do. More, you know, I, I'm not the conventional teenage kid, and neither are my friends. And together we sort of grew up, 
uh, to be able to, to love that about ourselves. And, and, and we made a film company through that. Um, every movie we make, uh, you know, every future plan that uh, we schedule, it, it just it reinforces the idea that 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 movies they're more than just you know video on, on a screen. They're they're a home. You know, they're a place that that I can find uh, happiness. You know, a place where I can sort of you know separate from the the stress of of the day and and find myself at a place where I'm comfortable. You know, a place where I can sort of relate to, and, and my friends can definitely uh, agree with that. You know, I want to, I, I really want to do this for the rest of my life. And I may be poor, I may not do it, but, but I have something to say. And I just want the opportunity to be heard.